Hi right, guys, can we uh, interview you? Can we interview you? Uh, we're with you on your side here. We got thrown out from in there for doing it. You know what I mean? How you doing? Because they're, you know, we're against this shit and they're fucking pissed at us. How you doing, brother? What's your name? My name's Doug Barry. Doug, now what's going on? What is the, the cause of your protest here today? Well, basically we're protesting sin and all this wickedness. Jesus said simply, if you look on a woman to lust after her, you've committed adultery in your heart and you're an adulterer in heart. And he said, no adulterer will enter the kingdom of God. I, I, I have compassion for these people. I know they've been deceived. I know they think God's a God, maybe a big fat joke, but I'll tell you, he's the God of the Bible. And if they die in their sin, he's gonna cast them into hell. We do not wanna see that. Mm -hmm. I know our approach is a bit radical, but America needs a radical approach. All its churches are saying nowadays that you can sin and go to heaven. No, the God of the Bible sent his son to die for the sins of the world. He, Jesus clearly said, if you continue in your sin, I am no longer a sacrifice for you. But the American church in need of money, mm -hmm. keeping the pews full, keeping the people coming in to pay the pastor's salary, the church budgets have rejected the gospel. And what they do is they tell the people to be comfortable. They're okay, God will forgive them no matter what. But we also, and this is the reason the church, that's what the church has done. And the church will allow this to happen because the church so, is- How long are you gonna be out here protesting this until? Be out here until about nine tonight and all day tomorrow. Oh wow, so you're, gonna, you're making the whole weekend out of this. All right, you see, that's good. You see, we're on your side. We got thrown out of there for, you know, I mean, I liked porn at one time in my life, but then it got too expensive. Jesus delivered all men of sin and come short of the glory of God. I used to look at pornography, but I knew it was wrong. Mm -hmm. I knew it was wrong. I stopped doing it. I used to love drinking Heineken's. I used to do cocaine. Me I too. I stopped doing it. But I, Jesus I didn't. had the power to mm -hmm. deliver me from that, okay? Mm -hmm. I am not walking in my own strength. Jesus has delivered me that, from that stuff. Because the bottom line is, people are going to hell that sin, okay? So is, is masturbation a sin? I would say yes, because you're lusting, you're lusting after somebody, right? Well, yeah, I mean, so I don't know. Just, I do, I do it I so wanna, I can... I want to masturbate? No, you're thinking, boy, I want to have sex with that girl, and you're thinking of that girl. No. That's why it's wrong. I also do it just to fall asleep. Well, that, well, I'll tell you what, Jesus has the power to deliver you from that. Oh, really? Yes, You see, does. I didn't know that. I've been <laughs> masturbating all these years for nothing. Well... How do you feel when you masturbate? I feel good until I uh, I don't like when I have to look for it afterwards, you know, because it, sometimes it flies. And there's there's uh, pleasure in sin for a season, but th at the end, death. So I'm going to die from masturbating? Listen, all you have to do is repent of your sin. So not masturbate anymore? Sir, I would I would encourage you to stop it. Yes. Really? Well, listen. What if I stopped after the weekend? How many of you guys masturbate? Yeah. Who are you? What are you <laughs> thinking about when you're masturbating? Something else, right, you're lusting. See, that's why it's wrong. God, young lady, God can give you a new heart. He can make you whole. He can make you perfect again. She looks perfect to me, but she's very pretty. Like, yeah. Now, uh, have you been married, she's sir? not perfect in God's sight, yet I'm I've been married for 22 years. Okay, now, and is your wife against all this, too, like this porn she, stuff? She has the, uh, pretty much uh, the same mindset as I do, yes. Yeah. That guy's louder than you. <laughs> He's good, that Listen, guy. Listen, I understand. No, I know. I understand our approach is very, uh, you know, aggressive, but we're trying to intervene God into a situation. We're not... Our ministry is not necessarily to get people saved, but we would love people to get saved. It's to intervene God into a situation that's out of control. Yeah, I mean, look at them all out there. Jesus Christ. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at you. I haven't seen this much pussy since my grandmother went senile. I knew you were on my no, side. No, no, I'm on your side, brother. Look at me. <laughs> look, we're all we're all here. Look, we're, we're all here as one. Come on, look. Here, get the T-shirt. All right, what does it say? All your friends can Warning to all. Sure, you got a lot of stuff going on here. Church gossips, drunkards, abortionists, thieves, sex addicts, druggies. This is my fucking resume. I know, and it's tough because it's most uh, people's resume in America. Uh, you know what it, it is. That's uh, why we're here. But do you blame it on porn for uh, all these other addictions? Oh, no, no. I blame it on our society uh, taking the Bible out of the schools, stop teaching the children. You know, you go over to South Beach and the, the little girls, the 12-year-olds, are mm. dressed like hookers. 
And what do you think they're going to become? They're going to so guys are going to prey on them, have sex with them, mm -hmm. and they're going to be ruined by the time they're 20. You think this young lady's ruined? Wait till the next generation starts coming up. Mm -hmm. Listen, God can give you a new heart, young lady. He's not going to be. Yeah, but he'd have to go right to those implants to get to it. He won't. He what won't. What is your name? Renee Cruz. Now, uh, you do movies? Yes, sir. You just touched my helmet. That's all right, bud. Sorry, I couldn't uh, help it. Uh, how many movies have you done? Over 50. Over 50 movies. And how long? Since November. Since November. Look at him. You're grinning. Look at that. That's amazing, right? I am not shocked at all. No, really? No, because no, most girls are having sex 50 times, you know, in a year. You know, you, you're, you know. Can you tell me where they are? He can change you. Well, you like it now, but what happens when you're used up? At the end of your yeah. life? What do you, now, what do you think? Because I don't want to be fucked. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, come here, come here. Can, 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 can you move this sign? Sorry. Okay, now, now she said, uh, what if she wants to get fucked? What if I like it? <laughs> the, la the language. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'll go back to the Bible. Jesus does not want you to do that. Okay? He does not want you to do it. What do you think about the, the Bible and uh, what you're doing is wrong? I think it's wrong for you to bring up the fact that God, this God and this porn thing, because like I do porn, it's my personal choice. I know what I'm doing. I like it. I love it. And I don't think you should say that God doesn't like me. I'm not whole. How come you don't have a megaphone? You're doing the same thing. You're trying to get people to think the way you want. You're doing the same thing, though. I'm warning you that you're going to burn in hell forever. Okay. And who is? No, you're not. Cause what is there's it? no nail polish in hell. There's no hair dye in hell. What? There's no sailing boobs in hell. You're going to boon. You're going to burn in ever. Do you understand that? The Bible says that hell is a flaming fire. Hello. Where the worm. And what we're, makes you better than me? Huh? What makes you better than I me? I repented of my sin. You haven't. You're in sin. I'm not. So what is this? This is look. This is the thing that says Jesus loves but, porn stars. I mean, what is this part of? Uh, do you know anything about that? Somebody just handed. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I'm not a cokehead. Huh? And the fact that I have sex makes me like going to hell. How about all the little kids that watch you have sex? <laughs> Oh, Jesus in Christ. the afternoons when their parents are gone. Huh? I can't control that. Huh? Yes, I, can't control that. Stop having your I, can, I don't have to stop having sex because you want me to stop uh -huh. having sex. You think I'm going to burn in hell. You yeah. don't know what you're talking no, about. I, when you become I God, when you become God and write the damn Bible, you can tell me what Jesus thinks of me. I do not. When you become I, almighty me, of heavens, <laughs> you can tell me what the hell I am. She but until finish. then, you cannot. No, I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you what the Bible says that you're going to burn in hell. That's what the Bible says. You should go to hell for just talking like this. Oh. You, you, just the fact that you're disrespecting me in my face like this. Are you? Kidding? I am using my pussy the way I want to use it. We rest using our case. Using what God gave we me. Rest our case. Exactly. That's what God's going to help you. She is a pervert, and she will burn in hell. She and I'm proud of it. But she's gonna make enough money so she'll be able to afford air conditioning in hell. No cash in hell. No. There's no cash in hell. But she'll bring an air conditioner from 18 BTUs. All alone for eternity, burning by yourself. She's not a good person. She's a wicked woman. So you're saying that sex, having sex, makes you a bad person? What about all the all the kids that watch her in the afternoon having sex doesn't at that, home. Doesn't that make I a bad parent? I, I want you to answer that question. But you, shouldn't you, being a parent, be able to know what your kid's doing in the house? Well, but yeah, but they're not. Are they? Yeah, it's her fault for doing it in the first place. See, there you go. She's educating them on having to be perverts young lady well i'm a pervert and i'm proud of it and it's obvious it's obvious yeah you're a proud pervert yep. she is. i am proud, proud pervert I do. I'm yes. a slut. I'm a whore. I'm proud of it. I like to fuck. I like to get fucked. And this little half over here is not going to tell me I'm going to hell for it because I'm going to do what I do and I'm good at it. Thank you. Do we, I think we got uh, we got some things settled here, right? Proverbial mouthful. I think we got, it. we got a good interview there. Thank you, sir. Thank you.